My name is Ayana, and welcome to the CBC Bookstop. Today, I'm going to tell you about a book that reminds me of a ghost story, because who doesn't like ghost stories? Well, lots of people. Good thing this isn't a ghost story. The book is called Death Watch, and was written by Ari Burke. This is his first novel for children, but he is no newcomer to the subject matter of what you'll find in this book, a whole lot of myth, legend, and folklore surrounding the subject of death. In the book, we follow Silas as he finds his way from being a boy to growing into a man. One day, Silas comes home from school and impatiently waits for his father to return back home from work, but his dad never arrives. Over the course of a year, Silas waits, in various stages of depression, for his beloved father, who he believes is a mortician, but is really an undertaker, two very different things. Then one day, he and his mother receive a letter beckoning them to move back home to Silas's birthplace, Litchport. Litchport isn't just an old seaport town, it's an old community of folk who see death, the dead, and how to deal with the two in a very different light. It is here that Silas comes to understand what his father's profession as an undertaker really means. It is here that Silas comes to understand his roots, and that even though he was taken away very early from this town, it is still his home. And it is also here that Silas must find out what has happened to his father. The lives of the living and the doings of the dead are expertly woven together with beautiful words to present a gripping mystery of familial obligations, sacred town rituals, and lost souls. Even though this novel has spooky moments, the lasting impression it provides is very reassuring. It is inevitable that we lose loved ones, but they will always be alive in our memory.